Romans 12, 12 says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Life is filled with ups and downs, good times and bad times, happiness and sadness. Sometimes it may seem like the bad times outweigh the good times. If you're going through a difficult time right now, God is reminding you to be joyful in hope. Find joy in the fact that this too shall pass and things will get better. God wants you to be patient in affliction. Yes, this season is difficult, but God allowed it for a reason. Wait and see what God is doing. God wants you to be faithful in prayer. You cannot endure this season on your own. Call upon God, and if you feel like He isn't answering, then call on Him even more. Hi everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing great this morning. On our prayer request today, <clears throat> pray for all those affected by Hurricanes Helene and Milton. Let's hope they can get some, some real help. I mean, come on. Uh, Jackie needs prayer to see the specialist before January 7th, 25, before she gets worse. Um, pray for Sharon and her husband. <clears throat> Sharon took a bad fall and is hurting all over. Did I have a... I think I had a... Maybe I didn't put it down, but I think he did okay. Hold on just a minute. Let me see something. Anyway, I thought I'd wrote down something, an update, but it's about something else. But anyway, go ahead and pray for Sharon and her husband. Uh, she took a bad fall, and her husband had hernia surgery. But I think everything, you know, went well on that. So, uh, Mr. Dingman found a doctor that might be able to help him. Pray that he can help. Uh, Sherry Gann had a light stroke a few weeks ago. Uh, she's still having some effects from it, but she's gradually improving. Pray she gets better and back to normal. Leela is still in the hospital and can't see much. Uh, pray they can help her vision get better and that she can go home. Uh, pray for Kelly and her family. Uh, Lips Lipstick and Sofrito is in a beauty competition for women over 40 and would like prayer that she wins. Um, Sharon's husband, okay, here it is. Uh, I just forgot to mark the other one off. Sharon's husband's uh, his hernia surgery went well, but the pain meds stopped him up. I've heard that before uh, about other people, and pray that he gets better. Uh, and pray for Sharon's sister. Her husband's funeral is Saturday. Pray for Sharon's sister and her daughter, Stacy, who is getting everything ready for having people over. <clears throat> Vicky's family would like an unspoken request. And Pablo, you know, we've been praying for, he passed away October 17th, yesterday. Uh, pray for his family for peace and comfort. I hate to hear that. I was hoping you know, he'd be okay. <clears throat> but I think it was far more advanced, the, the cancer, pancreatic cancer. That's a hard one, too, to, to uh, you know, get healed from that. Um, okay, our scripture of the day comes from 1 Kings 19, 1 through 8. So let me get my bearings. Okay. Now Ahab told Jezebel everything Elijah had done and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. So Jezebel sent a message to Elijah to say, May the gods deal with me but be it ever so severely, if by this time tomorrow I do not make your life like that of one of them. Elijah was afraid and ran for his life. When he came to Beersheba in Judah, <clears throat> he left his servant there. While he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, he came to a broom brush, sat down under it, and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the bush and fell asleep. All at once an angel touched him and said, Get up and eat. He looked around, and there by his head was some bread baked over hot coals and a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. The angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat, for the journey is too much for you. So he got up and would ate and ate and drank. Strengthened by that food, he traveled 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. You mean he didn't eat anything after that for, for
for 40 days and 40 nights? Oh my goodness, how could you? I mean, the Lord must have just not made him to where I mean, he didn't, wasn't hungry or something. I don't know. Looks like you would, that'd be rough. <laughs> I mean, okay, and our devotion today is entitled Scraped Butter. In J.R.R. Tolkien's book, The Fellowship of the Rings, Bilbo Baggins starts showing the effects of carrying for six decades a magical ring with dark powers. Weighed down by its slowly corrosive nature, he says to the wizard Gandalf, Why I feel all thin, sort of stretched, if you know what I mean, like butter that has been scraped over too much bread. He decides to leave his home in search of rest, somewhere in peace and quiet, without a lot of relatives prying around. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, this aspect of Col Tolkien's story reminds me of an Old Testament prophet's experience. On the run from Jezebel and wrung out after his battle with false prophets, Elijah badly needed some rest. Feeling depleted, he asked God to let him die, saying, I have had enough, Lord. After he fell asleep, God's angel woke him so he could eat and drink. He slept again and then ate more of the food provided by the angel. Revitalized, he had enough energy for the 40-day walk to the mountain of God. Wow. Uh, when we feel scraped thin, we too can look to God for true refreshment. We might need to care for our bodies while we also ask him to fill us with his hope, peace, and rest. Even as the angel tended to Elijah, we can trust that God will impact his refreshing presence on us. When you're wrung out and exhausted, what actions tempt you? How can you put your trust in God when you're tired and overwhelmed? Strengthening God, I look to you for true rest. Please help me put my hope in you and fill me with your presence. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic morning. And I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.